So yeah, as I suspected, um, the game showed one, two, four, five, six, maybe seven frames per second because webs ran out of memory on my hardest drive to store all the video information. So I emptied that to another hard disk drive quickly, me, I so I can continue by. this. And now it's all smooth like a baby's ass again. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. I'm looking for an elf mage who studies who sent stars. You? Was it the college, the Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Yeah, I asked that the last time. Alright, and then it um, became slow and slow. Okay. So, look, I'm willing to pay? No, that's way too expensive. I'm good at persuasion. The priestess of Ezra sent me. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. The what? I actually read that book. I didn't agree to anything. Talk. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? They're for enchanting. They are. Except the gem is always consumed. They're frail. Except for one. Azura's Star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted Yay. to find out how. I was working under Malin Varen then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Get to the point. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star. But don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Maybe she was just sick and desperate and not really insane? How did they drive her insane? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. Now that's desperate. How does it work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem. Only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before... Well, I already told you. It sounds like he got what's coming to him. The college would agree with you. But do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. Okay. Right, then. Um, I still got something. My to say, favorite. Right? Unless you're bringing me another round. No, you, you don't get another one. No, no, no. I told you what you wanted to know. What else could you want? Gold. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Anyway. The mages don't let us go in the college. They yeah, but they let you in an inn full of drunken people. Yeah, shit's an anvil. Look at the anvil. Isn't it great? Look at the anvil. It's made of anvil -y anvils. To anvil, anvil. Chicken! Okay, um. There's a few very, very interesting places around here. And I will just start with this one. Let's see if I can get there in one piece. 
Also, let's see if I can get rid of my items and read some books about magic. 